Hello, I'm Yuli Iswa, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town, South Africa. Today, I'm going to show you how to configure the operating system of your instance to recognize secondary private IP addresses and then statically assign one of the private IP addresses for an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Windows instance. Let's get started. Static private IP addresses aren't required for Amazon EC2 Windows instances as the primary private IP addresses are static in nature and can't be detached from an instance for the instance's entire lifetime. With that said, there are some use cases and applications that require you to set a static IP address on the operating system. Let's see how to configure the operating system of your Amazon EC2 Windows instance to recognize secondary private IP addresses and then statically assign one of the private IP addresses. After logging into the AWS Management Console, open the EC2 Console. Choose Instances from the Navigation pane. Select your instance. From the Networking tab, expand Network Interfaces, and then choose the Interface ID. Select the Network Interface ID, choose Actions, and then choose Manage IP Addresses. Expand the Network Interface ID. Note that the primary private IPv4 IP address is already listed. Choose Assign New IP Address. Then do one of the following. To assign a particular private IP that is within the subnet CIDR for auto assign, enter the new IP address and then choose Save. Alternatively, for Auto Assign, do not enter a new IP address. Choose Save, and then choose Confirm to auto assign the new IP address to the network interface. Note the primary private IPv4 address and the new IP address for a later step. Connect to your Amazon EC2 Windows instance using Remote Desktop Protocol, RDP. Open a command prompt window as an administrator. Type ipconfig forward slash all and then press the enter key. Note the IP address, subnet mask and default gateway. Open network and sharing center by running the command ncpa.cpl in run. Open the context menu for the network interface and choose properties. Choose Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. Properties. Choose use the following IP address radio button. For IP address, enter the primary private IPv4 address. For subnet mask, enter the network mask for the subnet. For default gateway, enter the gateway for the subnet. Then choose Advanced. For IP addresses, choose Add. Enter the new private IP address and subnet mask, and then choose Add. Optionally, you can choose the DNS tab, enter a DNS server address, and then choose Add. Please note, after statically assigning the private IP address to the operating system, the RDP connection will momentarily drop and then reconnect shortly thereafter. So now you know how to configure the operating system of your instance to recognize secondary private IP addresses and then statically assign one of those private IP addresses for an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Windows instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.